Hello, welcome to the Russian language video class. Uh, the course is called Survival Russian for Travelers. So if you're planning a trip to Russia but don't have enough time to learn the language, then you might find this course useful. Uh, it's okay if you don't have any background in Russian at all because the, the major goal of this course is to obtain some basic conversational skills. Uh, of course, some, uh, some knowledge of Russian grammar would help you uh, get some deeper and more profound understanding of the contents of the course. And for that you can refer to the basic Russian course that comes prior to this one. So uh, the first lesson is dedicated to greetings and everyday expressions. Well, uh, learning a foreign language is, is not easy and ru the Russian language is considered to be one of the most difficult languages in the world. So to encourage you I would like to start our course by saying that the Russian language is actually not that exotic as, as you might think. Uh, English and Russian belong to two different branches of one and the same language group. They are both Indo-European languages, so they are like cousins and like, uh, so although they are very distant cousins, they have something in common both in grammar and lexis. For example, a Russian word for uh, sister would be sestra. Sestra sounds a bit similar, doesn't it? So, and besides that, there are quite a few loan words in the Russian language that might sound familiar to you. For example, doctor, doctor. I think you can guess the translation, it's a doctor. So if you don't know how to read Russian letters, you can uh, look only at the Romanized transcription. Another word is aeroport, aeroport. Does it remind you of anything? An airport. Uh, bank. 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 Document. Document. Hmm? And it, it is even spelled similarly. Document. Student. Student. A student. So uh, before learning how to speak Russian, I like to, uh, um, it's worth getting familiar with some peculiarities of the Russian language. Uh, unlike English, in the Russian language there are two uh, levels of speech which are ma uh, marked grammatically. So you have always you have uh, to pay attention to whom you are talking to. And unlike English but very similar to Spanish and French, for example, in Russian there are two ways to address uh, your inter the, to address the interlocutor. Two ways to, to uh, talk about second person singular. So there are two kinds of speech. Navi, Navi, formal speech, and informal speech. Nati, Nati. Uh, they are um, the names of these two uh, two speeches are derived from the. Uh, second person singular. So, in the informal speech, we use the the to address the, your partner, the interlocutor, and in formal sp in, in in the formal speech, we address them we we. Uh, so, the major difference between the formal and the informal speech is the grammatical form of the second person person pronoun and the the verb form. Uh, so you can you, you use the formal speech, speaking in a formal situation, addressing elders or people you don't know, people you have you have met for the first time, and you you use the informal speech, addressing someone of the same age, someone younger than you, uh, people you know very well, your friends, your your friends, your family. Um, so uh, since we have already started speaking about politeness, let's have a look at a few words of courtesy. First of all. Спасибо, спасибо, which means thank you. Спасибо. And спасибо большое, спасибо большое. Большое meaning big, so a big thank you means thank you so much, thank you very much. Спасибо большое. Then the magic word, please. Пожалуйста, пожалуйста. And pay attention to the pronunciation. It differs a lot from the way it is written. Пожалуйста, пожалуйста. You hear a more neutral sound here. Okay. Пожалуйста. And this, the same word can be used as you are welcome. For example, when someone says thank you, 
you can you can say пожалуйста пожалуйста finally to make an excuse you can say извините 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 okay? uh, this is the formal form and to make it uh, informal you just drop the ending yeah, which is the polite, politeness ending and it will and you'll get извини извини now let's proceed to some basic greetings the most common way to greet people is здравствуйте здравствуйте okay? and please mind that you don't pronounce v here this would be difficult even for native speakers so it's just здравствуйте здравствуйте and again this one uh, it sounds a bit formal so to let to make it less formal you drop the polite ending and you get здравствуй здравствуй and the most informal greeting is привет привет now, I suggest that you use this one only when someone addresses someone says this to you first and then you can proceed in the same uh, familiar manner some more greetings uh, to greet people throughout the day you can also use the names of parts of the day for example in the morning you can say доброе утро доброе утро and it is very much, it is very similar to the english the english phrase доброе meaning good утро meaning morning доброе утро доброе утро in the afternoon, you can greet, greet people saying Dobri Jain. Dobri Jain. Jain meaning day. Dobri Jain. Dobri Jain. So literally, good day. And closer towards the evening, you can say Dobri Vecher. Dobri Vecher. Dobri Vecher. Uh, normally, after having exchanged greetings, you would ask, how are you, as the same in Russian. And the Russian phrase that means, how are you, is, как у вас дела? Как у вас дела? Как у вас дела? Okay. This is the formal variant. And the informal variant would be, как у тебя дела? Как у тебя дела? With a question intonation. Uh, the difference here is in the form of the second person singular pronoun. So, uh, to make to make the phrase informal, you can either either uh, replace it with the informal variant or drop it at all, and you'll get как дела, как дела, just meaning what's up. Uh, another variant would be как поживаешь, how are you doing, как поживаешь. This is the uh, phrase you would use addressing someone with whom you are on familiar terms. And to make it sound more formal, you changed the ending, the verb ending for the polite verb ending. And you'll get Как поживаете? Как поживаете? Как поживаете? So, in reply, you can say I'm fine, thank you. Хорошо, спасибо. Хорошо, meaning good, fine. Хорошо, спасибо. Хорошо, спасибо. Нормально. I'm okay. Yes. Not bad, not good. Нормально. And not so good would be не очень хорошо. Не очень хорошо. Не, not. Очень, very. Хорошо, good. Not so good. Не очень хорошо. And finally, I hope you won't use this very often. Плохо. Плохо. Плохо meaning bad. Okay. Now, saying goodbye in Russian would be до свидания. До свидания. До свидания. So, although there are two words here, you pronounce it as, as one word. До свидания. Goodbye. And another variant is пока, пока. But this one is really very informal, so I suggest that you only use it where, with someone you know very well. Пока. 
another one which is neutral well до свидания is uh, quite neutral this one is very is quite neutral too до встречи до встречи see you so um before we finish this lesson let's have a look at a few more hand expressions um someone stepped on your foot in subway and says i'm sorry i'm so sorry you, you'd probably say that's okay no problem and in russian it would be ничего страшного ничего страшного ничего meaning nothing страшного serious nothing serious ничего страшного to congratulate someone you can use this uh, this word поздравляю поздравляю which means I congratulate you поздравляю and at the table before starting a meal you can say приятного аппетита приятного аппетита приятного аппетита oh um, it's quite difficult to be constantly paying attention to that formal informal thing so once you feel that the situation and the age difference allows you to switch to the informal speech uh, with your pa partner you can suggest можно на ты можно на ты is it okay to switch to informal speech можно на ты or your partner might suggest uh, first давайте перейдем на ты давайте let us перейдем switch на ты to, to informal to the informal speech давайте перейдем на ты давайте перейдем на ты so uh, this is the end of the first lesson uh, have some practice at home and see you in the next class